Counted multiple suitcases full of drugs make it through airport security. That's what Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd wants to know. After investigators linked a drug smuggling operation from Mexico to Winter Haven to commercial flights. You think LAX has got a drug smuggling problem at the airport? I believe that they do and they need to address it ASAP. Dubbed Operation Flying Ice, the major drug sting netted a cache of high-powered guns, dirty money, almost $13 million worth of methamphetamine, cocaine, fentanyl, marijuana, and more. All brought here from Mexico, hidden away in suitcases on commercial carriers that went through Fresno and LAX. On one airline, six suitcases with this drug was smuggled into Orlando. They didn't so much as throw a pair of underwear in the suitcase to act like they were hiding the drugs. 85 suspected traffickers were arrested. Abdash McKenzie, Demarcus Jefferson. Judd says Abdash McKenzie got a job at a local fast food place as a cover. He would pay his co-workers with dope to prep his workstation at work. He would tell us that in the undercover operations, I operate in mysterious ways so the cops can't catch me. Newsflash, it wasn't so mysterious. The way traffickers were bringing drugs here is no longer a mystery either, which Judd says will make it easier to land even more arrests in the future. In Polk County, Ken Suarez, Fox 13 News. And along with the Polk County Sheriff's Office, a number of other agencies were involved in flying ICE, including the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, Winter Haven Police Department, Homeland Security, and the Border Patrol.